we focus down to 10 feet. And at first you're just like, well, this is dirt. <laughs> this is 10 feet of dirt and blackberry bramble. But you look close and you see ants crawling, you see little wood bugs crawling, it's alive. There's things happening and you have to pay attention to notice it. Over the course of the Outdoor Learning Project, we worked with students from different schools around Vancouver, getting them to ask what could outdoor learning look like in the city, and do different experiments and prototypes to try that out in City of Vancouver parks, to help people connect with the park and nature in a different way. This project started with SFU semester outside in the city, and that brought a group of 20 students to Everett Crowley Park. So as far as we know, I think the SFU semester outside in the city is the only entirely outdoor uh, summer semester program that's, that's running. And it's a pretty powerful experience to have students rain or shine every day of the week out in the park. The park board adopted its uh, Rewilding Vancouver Environmental Education and Stewardship Plan. And the idea there was to re-envision how our parks could be used for outdoor education. I think the Outdoor Learning Project gives a real example, a working example of something that can happen outside in, in park spaces. We got to learn and reflect and observe on our own terms. It wasn't a prop saying you gotta learn this, this and this in order to pass. It was here's a world of knowledge that is given to you. You can decide where you want to go with it. It's amazing. We just get to be here in the park educating ourselves and having real conversations with real people that work in the field. But to have these young people coming in and, and helping to engage the public has been just really wonderful to see. Becoming more aware of nature, to value it more, to, um, to appreciate it, just struck a chord. They're wonderful projects. I really enjoyed it. We took the work of those students and brought it to the BCIT Architectural Science students who then continued this work and developed designs for possible installations to support outdoor learning. And they did everything from a sensory station where you could come and look through magnifying glasses and listen through auditory funnels, all the way to different bench arrangements and art installations that would help people stop and connect and be in the park in a different way. So working with several different classes gave us the chance to approach this project from different angles so that SFU Semester in Dialogue students approached it by bringing in different experts and having dialogues in community and the architecture students approached it in a much more technical way. And then we were able to return uh, this summer to the SFU Semester outside students again bringing in some of the same stakeholders and asking similar questions and seeing how the conversation had evolved. We worked with the BCIT student designs uh, and a local contractor to build a version of a student design that could serve as an outdoor classroom in Everett Crowley Park. And our hope is that this outdoor classroom really is a place for different groups to gather, um, for school groups, for community groups, and for people to stop and see the park as a place of learning. And we would love to see versions of this outdoor classroom all across Vancouver parks, um, giving many more people inspiration and excuses to get outside and do learning there. This has been one of the best classroom experiences ever, because it's not a classroom. It's completely the opposite.